G'day. I thought it was about time we got back to chatting about the Tilter um, power delivery V-mount plate for the Canon R5C. Um, so I've had this for about a year, probably a bit more now. Um, and it's been an interesting journey. Um, lots of trial and error to try and uh, figure out the best way to kind of use it. Um, and yeah, I still think I've got a little bit to go with finding the absolute best solution for the R5C. So the uh, Tilter power delivery V-mount plate for the R5C, um, it's been quite the journey. Um, it was an odd design having it make the unit so tall. Um, and obviously then you kind of have some sort of balance issues when uh, the heavier lens is out the front. Um, but um, it's great uh, in terms of um, having a V-mount on there. You've got options for the power delivery, um, the standard um, USB-C, the uh, D-tap, um, and you've got one on the back as well. Um, so obviously you can see with the Canon 24 to 70, it is a bit front heavy. Um, so the balance is a strange one. So if, if I was ever using it, um, kind of handheld, I would always lay it down, um, for safety because otherwise it, it is going to go down. Um, obviously you can use it with the top handle and you may be able to counteract the weight depending on what you're doing. Um, but for the most part, yes, it will absolutely, uh, be front heavy with a, a bigger lens on the front. Obviously, if you're using a smaller prime or a lens that's sat closer um, to the actual body, then that wouldn't be such an issue. Um, now, what I ended up doing for most of the time with my use um, of this plate is having a um, just a Manfrotto base plate on there. Um, so you've got plenty of um, screw options. Um, so I always just had this little plate um, in the middle, screw that down, um, and I would predominantly use this V-mount plate on a tripod. So if my R5C was being um, you know, a B camera in an interview or even the A camera uh, during a static interview, um, this sitting on top of a tripod the weight's not an issue obviously because uh, it's locked in. So I did find it handy and I still do find it handy to any time I'm doing a long interview, definitely just whack this straight on um, and use it on a tripod uh, and there's no issues, it's absolutely fine. Um, now, what I find interesting is the power delivery uh, for out of this plate um, absolutely works. Obviously, since this first came out, um, there's been a number of um, kind of smaller devices, cables that have, um, an inv or I think, it, I guess it's an inverter um, or a regulator to um, not have to use such a big plate. You could just use a cable into a D-tap into a uh, V-lock. Um, but just to show you, um, but I'll just check that works. So you can see up um, up here, it's currently just using the internal battery of the R5. Um, so USB-C into the power delivery um, port. Ugh. Um, so USB-C into the power delivery port. Eventually get in there and you'll see that that's changed over to power delivery. Now, um, that's great. These V-Locks, uh, these are just the, the 99 watt hour, 14.4 um, um, volt um, batteries that we can take on the planes. Um, this definitely gives you a couple of hours uh, with the, the uh, camera on. The issue obviously is you've got a massive, with the cable um, coming in and out and obviously the, um, protrusion of the cable out the side. So 
when it's static on a tripod no issues you know you just it's just there and it's fine it looks a little messy but you know as long as you get the shot it's all good um and i did find it funny that you know the cable did come out the front um rather than the back but i guess that's just where they had to put the uh, power delivery um the i mean you could uh, i'm not sure if you could spin it around because i think you then have the the camera would be off balance off center so um now because I didn't enjoy using this handheld because of the weight distribution um, being down and not out, so there wasn't really a fine middle ground, um, I kind of tended not to use it uh, as a handheld rig. Um, now, you definitely do need to use some sort of external battery when using the R5C because the internal battery gives you like 20 minutes roughly at, at max and you know that with just standby mode and then rolling yeah, you're forever changing batteries and it just gets super annoying so um, a few options that I tried um, when not needing to use this plate um, the cool thing about this unit as well is if you do have a thicker v-lock you can just rise that up and down um, so that's handy. One of the other options I tried was the um, small rig uh, V-mount plate. This is the uh, 3204 version. Um, obviously you can go on 15 mil rails. Um, so you pop a V-lock on there, um, press the power button, um, and then you could just get a D-tap to USB-C Now you can see that nothing's changed, so there is no power delivery out of those, um, which obviously makes sense because it doesn't say power delivery on the small rig plate, so that they never claim that. It was just interesting to test it. Um, but what I do find interesting is when it's off, um, it will actually charge the battery. So it's not power delivery to power the camera while on but it is enough to charge the battery. Um, so if you were in a setting where you wanted to use um, the internal battery while you're recording, and then between takes or in standby, just switch it off, the battery would kind of recharge. So you know that would be a fine balance to kind of get between enough battery to shoot and charge time, but that's an option. Um, so that kind of um, ticked that box for me in terms of not being able to use that for actual shooting, um, but it was definitely worth a shot. Um, that led me to try another cable um, that did happen to claim um, power delivery um, through the DTAP. Um, but again, it um, doesn't have enough juice to power the camera, um, but it does have enough juice to uh, charge it when, in, uh, when it's off. So I'll just turn it on and show you. Um, so not enough to uh, power delivery, um, but you can um, run it straight out of DTAP. Um, so still handy cable to power um, any USB devices you could have it to keep your um, Rode Wireless Pros charging or um, uh, have your Holy Land wireless um, being powered off the DTAP through USB-C so the only cable that I got that ended up working was the Condor Blue um, DTAP USB-C um, with the regulator that gets it across the board to power um, the R5C 
straight out of DTAP. So pop it in. So charging when it's off. Power delivery when it's on. So for me, um, that was the winner. Um, obviously this wasn't around when the uh, Tilter V-mount first came out, but this is the option that I've been using uh, on the gimbal so that um, I can use the R5C for extended periods on the gimbal without having to actually take the camera off to change the battery. Because generally what I find with the balance is that it's in line with the plate, so you can't actually take the battery out and swap it quickly. So definitely been needing the USB-C to uh, achieve that. So the Condor Blue cable um, uh, definitely works and powers, which is great. Um, what I'll show you now is just how I use that on the gimbal um, uh, as a couple of options. So um, got the R5. Oh God, what is this? Got the Ronin 3 Pro. Um, with its standard plate, the um, good thing about the um, tilter cage um, is that I can just slide a Ronin plate across and then put the camera straight up on. Um, so it's good if, if you were using it uh, in a two camera setup, um, you did have it on the tripod for interviews with the V mount plate, you can then just quickly um, take that off, switch it across to um, the Ronin plate, and then you're uh, good to go. Now the solution I'd come up with for my gimbal uh, using the Condor Blue cable is uh, popping a, a V-lock um, on the side of the camera, uh, on the side of the DJI handle. Um, running a DTAP, running that cable out. Uh, and into the camera that way. Now, obviously it's a limited size cable. So um, you do kind of have a little bit of limitations uh, in terms of range of movement. So um, obviously up and down for the tilt is fine. The pan is where you can run into some issues. Um, so if you're panning and then tilting, sometimes it can kind of just get caught on things. Um, and also if you have the um, screen out, I have found it kind of sometimes wanders that way. Um, and then obviously your uh, tilt axis does pull on it too. So um, for limited movements, um, that's definitely been the, the quickest run and gun solution. Um, but for longer term use or for more dynamic movements, um, I came up with a slightly better option. Um, which involved getting the um, small rig power plate, um, which is this one, just a slightly bigger plate, um, but it's got the D-tap um, on both sides. Um, so I find that, pop that on. It's a little annoying because it doesn't fit quite as easily. Oh, it's just a bit snug uh, but I find if you hold in the the lock release you can kind of wiggle it in so it's not ideal but it's uh it's there and the good thing again with that um, tilter cage is that I can then slide the camera over to be more centered um, because that base plate is further over. Um, so I'll just balance this quickly for giggles. All right, 
So, what you then need to do um, for this is you run the small rig power cable out of the back to the DTAP. And then you run out of the front or the back, either one. The cable um, straight off that plate. Now, what that gives you. is a bit more freedom because this isn't limiting your range. Um, so I definitely find that's a great solution for if you're ever doing something that's a bit more dynamic. You do run into um, some issues where the cable out of the back um, can actually hit um, and kind of get jammed up. So it's you, you find some sort of cable management option um, to kind of, sometimes I've stuck it in a certain spot just to see if that helps. Um, but I definitely find that that gives me um, greater use of the gimbal um, because there's no, because of the shortness of the condor blue cable. Um, and that, again, I'll show you, gives power delivery um, because of the condor blue cable. So you can just keep going um, all day long between V-locks, which is great. Um, so that's kind of the journey um, that I'd taken over the last year since buying the Tilter um, power delivery V-mount, um, very expensive, um, but very useful for long interviews and um, tripod work. Um, not so crash hot for handheld work because of the the weight distribution, um, but um, still glad I bought it. Um, it has come in useful. Um, but now that there's a lot of manufacturers that have uh, cables um, that have the regulator to give it that power delivery, um, I'm kind of happy to hang a D-tap somewhere close by and hang a V-lock with a D-tap and get in a bit closer and a bit simpler. Um, and definitely the way to go for gimbal. Um, so the, the way I've got that um, V-lock on there is just a um, small rig um, adapter um, off the um, pro handle. Um, I do, just for safety, run um, the, the drawstring over the handle so that if, if it actually falls off or you knock it off or something when you're running around, um, it doesn't fall to the ground, it just latches on and hangs off. Uh, so I definitely suggest um, doing that. All right, so those of you who are wondering why I might not use a dummy battery uh, with a D-tap to just come straight out of the bottom of the camera and get into the battery, uh, into the D-tap there. Um, the reason I prefer the USB-C option is because it essentially, by leaving a Canon battery inside the camera um, that's charged, um, if I need to change the V-lock, so I'll unplug that, it kind of essentially makes the camera hot swappable. So I can change the V-lock battery and the camera doesn't need to turn off. So um, I kind of see that as a positive rather than if I ran out of V-lock battery and the camera shut down, that could be mid-take, which would be very painful. So 
Yeah, definitely. If you, you have an R5C and you want to power it, um, the Condor Blue um, 65 watt USB C power delivery cable, um, I can tell you that it works. Um, if not, um, just get yourself a solution that has power delivery. So that's been my journey uh, through the tilt up. Um, hope that helps someone out there, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.